remember that it is already a battleground remember that krishn himself has tried the utmost to avert war he himself had gone as a messenger to the court of duryodhan and tried his best now all that is behind before war the right action is please try to prevent war war means a lot of suffering on the battlefield now you cannot act like a peacenik now you have to be an eagle not a dove now you must fight so you just said about like the different planes of love that are possible like mental spiritual physical but somehow like when you explained it they were they were seeming different to me but they are maybe because i have been raised that way that i intertwine these two things mental and the physical plane and that's how i come to see the world itself as well i don't know just because it's my upbringing i don't feel like let's say i have been made to feel that i am not that beautiful or something like that and i'll still want someone beautiful and that won't just happen because they also have the same definition of beauty and that's where the mental thing comes in somehow that you are mentally well enough so maybe the, that person likes you mentally and then she wants to be with you physically as well and that then that just that too depends on your definition of yourself if you take yourself as primarily physical then beauty too for you would be something just physical right you will look at the woman most capable of successfully reproducing that's the you know prakritic definition of beauty do you understand this what is the prakritic definition of beauty what is what is prakriti physical nature this that we see all around us here don't we have beautiful stuff tell me beautiful stuff that you find in physical nature and you will be astonished that in physical nature most of that which you call as beautiful is nothing but that which leads to procreation the first thing that comes to mind is flowers what are flowers flowers are the reproductive organs of the plant or the tree aren't they hmm getting it in physical nature in prakriti stuff that directly corresponds to reproduction appears attractive now you know why you are attracted to particular physical parts of a woman hmm? those parts are most likely to be the ones that are related to her capacity to reproduce right and it's common knowledge that in general most women would feel attracted to a male who has a certain build and other stuff and therefore can offer protection to the offspring you getting me so all this talk of beauty at the physical level is just dna trying to carry itself forward to the next human being getting if you think that you are just a body then all that you will care for is 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 height and you know such stuff and complexion and if you take yourself as more mental then you will be attracted to things like knowledge like prestige like money hmm? 
that are not directly re related to reproduction or the body but indirectly even these things are just agents that facilitate successful cohabitation and, and, and the production of offspring. Hmm? The definition of beauty totally changes if you look at yourself in the spiritual way. Hmm? Then the one that you are calling as beautiful, two would be different. Then it is quite possible that you may find an utterly physically attractive woman quite ugly. And equally it is possible that you may find somebody physically very ordinary or even repulsive to most people quite attractive to you. Getting it? So, it's not so much about attracting somebody beautiful to yourself or obtaining a beautiful mate in your life. It's more about knowing what beauty really is. Hmm? Depending on your definition of beauty, you will choose your relationships, you will choose everything in life because life in one way is just a search for beauty. If the very definition of beauty is flawed, then all that you will gather and all that you will go through, all that you will bring towards yourself will be flawed as well. Don't let that happen. So, just in this scenario, so I might feel like, let's say I do not even need to go to the other sex for that spiritual connection or spiritual up going ahead. I might feel that someone of my friend is more helpful to me in those regards. But I still somehow have those, let's say, animal urges, which, which just take... They must not be killed, but they must be subservient to the spiritual objective. One day I had called all that as the tail of the elephant. Hmm? I had said that the real thing must be like the body of the elephant and then let the sexual part follow the body of the elephant like the tail. How big is the tail of the elephant? Fine. So, obviously sexuality is a part of one's physical existence. There is no need to try to smother it. Let it be there. But then let it not occupy the commanding position in your psyche. Choose a person for his or her spiritual or actual merit. And then if sex follows, alright. Who said that you have to never enter into the sexual activity? Uh, that's not a mandate. Hmm? Spirituality does not forbid sex. It only forbids foolishness. And most of our sexual activity is quite foolish. Therefore, by association, sex is talked of in spiritual circles in a lowly way. But that kind of lowliness that is accorded to sex is not because sex in itself is lowly. Sex is neither high nor low. It is just a physical thing. But it becomes lowly when it tries to occupy the place of the highest. In your mind, you have you know, a throne. All right. In your mind, you have a hierarchy. And that hierarchy should be right and clear. As a young person, if in your mental hierarchy, sex comes to occupy a very high position, then you will have problems. That does not mean that you have to give no place to sex in this hierarchical system. Give a place to sex that sex deserves. And for sure it does not deserve the topmost place. Hmm? So we had talked of 
three levels of association physical mental spiritual they are not mutually exclusive thanks for pointing that out they are not mutually exclusive i didn't say that if you are spiritually related to someone you will have no emotional connect and no physical connect no that was not the objective a spiritual relationship means that you are related for spiritual reasons now the body is secondary now it does not matter whether sex happens or not either way it does not matter if it doesn't happen fine if it happens you don't have to feel guilty all right but you surely are guilty if sex itself becomes central then you have insulted yourself by bringing yourself down and the other person down to merely the level of animal existence hmm?